Hey everybody, I still love playing video games. So, for this month's Kip K Kit, I built my own handheld video game. And you can too. Let's check it out. Now, as you can imagine, and Tux the Cat agrees, there are a lot of parts for this project. And it will all get built on this 9 by 15 centimeter perf board. Since the game runs on an ATmega8 chip, we'll need a socket for that, plus a couple of capacitors and a crystal oscillator. Now don't get overwhelmed with all of these parts, because I'll show you in just a second where you can get all the instructions to build your own. Now we'll also need a breakout board and a small IC chip. This controls the display of the game. These are teeny tiny solder connections that require patience and a steady hand. Once the IC is soldered in place, it'll get mounted on a couple of headers that we put on our perf board. We also need eight resistors, and they'll be soldered in the appropriate spots on the board. We need to be able to turn this baby on, so we'll need a slide switch, also a reset button, and two buttons that control the brightness of our display. We're not going to use a separate controller, keypad, or joystick to control our game. We're going old school with four big momentary switches that'll control up, down, left, and right. And of course, we need an action button. All the components are soldered on the board, and now it gets a little challenging with all the wiring. We've got ground wires, power wires, purple wires for our top display, red wires for the bottom display, yellow wires for our AT Mega 8, and more red wires for our buttons. Yes, this is a soldering challenge, but it all pays off in the end. The game runs on three AA batteries, so we need a battery holder for that, which we're going to put some double-sided tape on and attach it to the other perf board. Now it's time for our displays, and these are two 8x8 LED matrixes. They'll just get pressed in place on the female headers so they can be removed easily. And finally, our pre-programmed AT Mega 8 chip, which we'll carefully press in place in the socket. We've added batteries to the battery holder, and now it's time to join the two perf boards together, and we'll be using some nylon spacers, screws, and nuts to space those boards apart. And now we can play old school Snake, Tetris, and there's also a simple drawing game. I've also built a smaller gaming kit with one screen, and it comes pre-programmed with Snake. So, you want to build your own handheld gaming kit? Here's how. The Hobbyist Kit allows you to build the game I built in this video with two LCD screens. It comes pre-programmed with the Snake Game, Tetris, and a simple drawing game, or the Beginner Kit with just the one screen and Snake. There's also a Guru Kit with an additional DIY Kipduino, so those of you who are advanced can load your own games into the kit. And don't worry if you don't have any experience in reading schematics, soldering, or even electrical engineering. My Kip K kits are designed for people with absolutely no experience. Oh, and by the way, I'd love to hear what you'd like me to build. Leave it in the comments so I can check out your awesome ideas. Once you sign up, you'll get access to an online learning portal where you'll get step-by-step -step instructions, HD videos and pictures, as well as an online community of thousands of DIYers who will help you complete the project. All you have to do is click the link in the video or the link in the description below to check this kit out. So, it's time for you to build your own handheld gaming kit. I hope you like this project as much as I do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.